Hi there, welcome to another video in our series explaining everything you need to know about Consolitude. In this video, we're going to talk about the rules of the show. This information will arm you to the teeth with anything you'd ever need to know to fully comprehend all of the ongoings of any given season. Keep in mind, this is strictly discussing the workings of the show itself. If you're looking for specific details on an area of the show, such as prizes or donations or even applying, I strongly suggest you watch that video pertaining to the specific area of its production. This video will use broader terms to skate over some of the areas that have finer details associated with them, as it's meant to simply paint the big picture for you in terms of what's happening when you watch. First, the contestant. This individual will fly out to California to stay here on the production site for a full seven weeks, six of which is spent actively competing on the show. They are an outside individual selected by us from applications we receive from all of you. To find out more on how to apply, check out the section dedicated to it on our website. Over the course of the six weeks, the contestant's goal is to complete milestones that are referred to as tiers. There are five of them in total, and they take an increasing amount of what we refer to as tier points to complete. Tier points are awarded to the contestant each time they successfully complete a daily challenge, which they are given a new set of each and every day. These challenges are specific goals they must achieve in a video game designed by either us or by user submissions. To find out more about helping us design some of these game challenges, check out the section labeled Ideas on our website. After completing all five tiers, the contestant then has the opportunity to take a stab at the bonus tier, known as the Impossible tier, for the grand prize jackpot of $5,000. Each of these tiers utilizes different consoles from all sorts of generations of gaming, and the consoles themselves Cells are chosen at random during a ritual at the start of the season. We've created a custom deck of cards that contains all of the available systems for the contestants' season-wide experience, and we let them choose these cards at random to build each of the tiers. This means that every season on Consolitude will always be a little different, and no two seasons should ever be exactly the same. In addition to the console cards, we have modifier cards that also alter other areas of the show as well such as the variable of who selects the day-to-day -day games the challenges are made for. The option are host choice, meaning we choose the games, user's choice, meaning the contestant chooses the games, viewer's choice, meaning all of you choose, and finally, the fates decide all, which means it's completely RNG-based. In each scenario, a choice of three games will be presented and a pick will be made, except for in the case of us the host being in control, in which case we just get final say on whatever we want to subject them to. We also have our deck of what are called red cards, which are the variable modifiers that can have major impacts on a given tier. These red cards are meant to be kept a secret and will only be revealed once chosen live on the show for the first time. They include wild rules and alterations and bonus features that will certainly make things interesting, to say the least. Each day, the contestant will have from the start of the buzzer until the end of the show to complete as many of the daily challenges as he or she can, earning prizes and points for each finished challenge. Any uncompleted challenges are tossed aside in favor of new ones on the following day, so on and so forth for the full six week season. In addition to earning prizes for themselves upon completing challenges, the contestant will also unlock prize drops for viewers as well. All daily challenge completions and all tier completions will award a random viewer with a prize. The prize values are determined by the overall quality of the challenger tier and can even include mystery prizes that on average include prizes well above the norm in terms of value for the challenge in question. For more information on the prize system, check out our video on the prizes section of our website and also check out the publicly posted sweepstakes rules pertaining to our giveaway found at the link below. The viewers serve a vital role in the ongoing show of Consolitude. The battle isn't just the contestant versus us, but rather the contestant and the viewers versus us. As viewers, you are on the side of the contestant, aiding them in multiple ways with your generosity and helping the show production continue by sprinkling in your donations. Your donations are classified in two categories, micro donations for smaller donations averaging a buck or two, to gift drop donations, which encompass the more generous large scale donations, meaning anything $10 and up. Micro donations enable viewers to send in hints and tips to aid the contestant on their specific challenges, as they have no other source of information otherwise. Gift drop donations allow the contestants to airdrop in supplies and luxuries for the contestant during their six week stay, as they otherwise pretty much have nothing but the bare minimums. 
For more information pertaining to both micro and gift drop donations, check out the section of our website labeled donations. There's also a special form of currency on our show that we refer to as consolers. Consolers are a pseudo currency earned by both the viewers and the contestant in a variety of ways. For the viewers, earning consolers is as simple as tuning in and watching the show. You'll earn consolers naturally based on how long you watch as long as you're logged into Twitch, and these can be used for a variety of features. The main feature is, of course, the prize drop giveaways. Every time we drop a prize, you'll be able to convert your consolers into raffle tickets for the drawing. Other uses and features will include special game-changing votes and polls, which will have a major influence on the overall decisions we make on the show regarding such things as games and challenges. The contestant also earns consolers, but in a few different ways. They may earn them as a prize for a daily challenge, or they might rack some up as a gift drop donation from viewers at home. Additionally, anytime someone subs or resubs to the show, the contestant will automatically earn more consolers in the bank for their use. Consolers used by the contestant enable them to unlock unique perks and privileges throughout their season. These bonuses include things such as instant challenge completion coupons, extended show hours for added opportunity to complete certain challenges. They're really, really close to beating, but just need a little extra time to do so. Or even spins in our own Wheel of R and Jesus, a random chance wheel that contains many interesting prizes, perks, and penalties as determined by votes from the audience. Yes, what I meant by that last bit with the penalties is you'll be able to vote on trolling the contestant by adding extra negative outcome spots on the wheel if you so wish. That's on you guys though, not us. Consolers add layers of fun to the show, and it's our hope that these interactions create unique and exciting moments across the season for both the contestant and for those of you watching at home. We look forward to constantly revising and tweaking the currency system to ensure it's providing the best possible experience for everyone involved. All in all, this about sums up the entire Consolitude experience in a nutshell. Let's quickly review. A contestant comes here and competes for six weeks. The contestant defeats daily challenges to earn prizes and tier points in an effort to defeat the milestones of the tiers themselves. Tiers are cut up into segments promoting randomly associated consoles determined at the start of the season. Defeating all five tiers unlocks the impossible tier. Defeating the impossible tier is impossible, so don't worry about it. The contestant has all day to work on the challenges given to him for that specific day. A prize drop happens every time the contestant beats a challenge, and to enter, you convert your consolers into raffle tickets for the raffle. You earn consolers just by watching the show as a logged in member of Twitch. The contestant also earns consolers and are used to unlock various perks and bonuses. The contestant has no outside information and you can send in tips and hints to them directly using micro donations. Gift drop donations air in survival items and luxuries to the contestant for their stay. The impossible tier is still very much impossible, so stop thinking about it. And that about covers everything. Any other details or information that come up during the course of the show will be taken care of and discussed in the channel by your daily hosts at that time. Rules and policies, of course, are open to change at any time, so be sure to keep up with our website and social media outlets in case anything talked about in this video eventually becomes obsolete. If you'd like to find out more about our show, check out more of the videos on our website or simply browse around on our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe to all of our various forms of social media for updates on the ongoings of the show, including the ever so important announcements of gift drops well before they happen. I hope we see you soon in our live Consolitude channel. As always, thanks for watching.